in search of the valley of death madhuvanti princess of manipur was growing into a beautiful girl and no wonder she had many suitors seeking her hand in marriage but she rejected all of them on one reason or another and her parents who were very affectionate to her began wondering whether they would depart from this world without seeing the chubby face of a grandson or a granddaughter then came along moni singh son of a chieftain somehow the princess did not reject his proposal as she found him not only handsome but kind and gentle the king and queen could not be unhappy though the young man had no royal blood in him The wedding date was fixed and there was rejoicing all over the kingdom for 3 days. But then something most unfortunate happened. A day before the wedding, the princess went for her ritual bath in the river and never came out of it. Her maids went back to the palace wailing and weeping and the kingdom was plunged into gloom. Madhuvanti's parents remembered that the princess had not yet come out of her curse before her marriage took place and it must have been at the back of her mind when she was rejecting one proposal after another probably she must have forgotten the period of the curse before agreeing to marry moni singh the young man was the most heartbroken and remained in the capital for some days hoping that the body of the princess might be washed ashore so that he could have a last look at her before he went back to his own parents at one stage the king and queen had even decided that they would adopt him as their son and make him a prince but moni singh would not agree to the suggestion He told them that Princess Madhuvanti might have been taken to the valley of death and he would go there and bring her back. The king and queen were surprised and looked at each other with great doubt. Who was sure whether such a valley existed? But Moni Singh's argument was as the body of the princess had not appeared anywhere, she must be alive somewhere and the only possible place was the valley of death. With a heavy heart the king and queen bade him farewell. Moni Singh did not go to meet his parents. His first mission was to find the way to the valley of death. He wandered from place to place enquiring with sages, saints and mendicants. He would even go to very old people posing the question, "Could you tell me the way to the valley of death?" They would merely look at his face with pity. Why should anyone in the prime of youth think of death? Anyway, they had not heard of such a valley and would in the least know how to reach there ultimately moni singh met a very old man with a wizened look he insisted on knowing why he wanted to go to the valley of death till then moni singh had not told anybody of his mission when he listened to the story a faint smile arose across the face of the old man i don't know the way but i can tell you how to reach an old woman Nobody knows how old she is but we all believe she must be even some 200 or 300 years old and she is sure to have some knowledge of the place you are searching for but mind you there are a lot of things to be attended to by way of preparations before you start on your journey like you must avoid looking at women or eating any food prepared by them you must take a bath 3 times a day for 41 days and get hold of a white silk cloth to be presented to the old woman after you observe all these rigors you come back to me with a pure mind and a pure heart then i shall give you directions how to reach the old woman's hut on the other side of the mountains over there moni singh promised that he would abide by his instructions and return to him on the 42nd day During the 41 days he tried not to meet any woman he cooked his own food and ate only once in the day that too after he had taken all three baths spending day and night in prayers when he went to the old man moni singh found that he had kept for him a bag a spear a mug some food and rice beer he showed him the shawl he had taken for the old woman Moni Singh immediately set out to cross the mountains and go through dark forests and valleys. He did not find climbing the mountains a difficult task, but once he reached the valley and the forest, he did not know in which direction he should turn to reach the hut of the old woman. After so many days of walking, Moni Singh ultimately found a solitary hut in a clearing in the forest. He pushed open the door and found a woman with a wrinkled face, hands and legs lying on a cot.
He pulled out the white silk shawl from his bag and handed it to her. The woman's face suddenly lit up. What do you want from me, son? She asked. I wish to go to the valley of death, grandma. He replied. Is that all, son? The woman asked. She had a quizzy look. Yes, Grandma, I wish to meet my beloved Princess Madhuvanti, explained Moni Singh. I want to take her back to the palace and if she agrees, I would like to marry her. I don't know whether you would meet her in the valley, but this is the place where the dead come to spend the moonlit night. But I must warn you, if you see her, you should not touch her. You can only speak to her and wait for an answer. She then told him how to reach the valley in the night and wait for the moon to rise and shed its light. Moni Singh waited till it was dark and then started for the valley of death through the trees to find out whether the moon had risen and he could see any clearing. Fortunately, he did not come upon any animals to hinder his movement, though he held the spear in hand in all readiness. Suddenly, he saw the clearing and some figures strolling among flowering plants. He had some difficulty in finding the princess among them. When he saw a figure resembling her, in his excitement he ran towards her and caught hold of her hand saying, O oh princess, come with me, I shall take you to your parents. Immediately the princess disappeared. Poor Moni Singh, he did not know what to do. The princess did not come back to the place. He waited till daybreak and found his way back to old woman's hut. She patiently listened to his adventure and said, Spend the night here, you can go back to the valley in the night again in search of your beloved. But don't try to touch her if you come across her. Moni Singh waited till it was dark and once again made his way to the forest and the valley of death. But today he did not take the spear with him. He suspected that the princess might not have recognized him with the spear in hand. By the time the moon had floodlit the valley, he was already there waiting for the figures of the dead to appear. He easily recognized the princess among them. He sincerely prayed, O oh Lord, check my temptation to reach my beloved and speak to her. Wonder of wonders, the princess recognized him from a distance and rushed to him. Moni Singh, you have come here in search of me. How did you find this place? Moni Singh took great care not to touch the princess. He narrated his adventures ever since the princess went missing in the river. Will you go with me to the world? I shall take you back to the palace and with the permission of your parents, we shall get married. Most willingly, Moni Singh, said Madhuvanti, lead the way, but don't try to turn round to look at me. I shall be following you. Once we climb over the mountain, I shall call your name when you can look at me. Moni Singh had full faith in the princess who had by now proved her love for him. By the time he left the valley of death, passed through the forest and climbed the mountain, it was dark and he now heard his name being called softly. With great expectations, Moni Singh turned round to find the princess with a beaming smile. He now dared to catch hold of her hand and together they hurried to the palace. The king and queen's joy knew bounds when they saw their dear daughter hale and hearty. They proceeded with the preparation for the wedding of Madhuvanti and Moni Singh. Not that he had been directed by anybody, but Moni Singh did not tell anybody how he went in search of the valley of death. That remained a secret with him. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Do provide your feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for listening.